Welcome back to NASCAR Race Hub. Time now for everyone's favorite part of the week. It's The Pulse with Dave Moody. Dave, the long-awaited Roval Week is finally here. I want to know where is your excitement level heading into this weekend? Right about here. Right about here. <laughs> and I, I think there are a lot of people that are up there with me too, Shannon. And we've been talking about it all day, all week, the, for the better part of a month. It's not often in our game that you can say you've seen something that's never happened before. To know in advance that you're going to see some history, you're going to see something that's kind of a road course race, but not completely. It's kind of an oval track race, but not completely. It's going to be really fascinating to watch. Well, I know some of your listeners, their excitement level is is above, way above. Let's hear what some of them have been saying this past week. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about it as a fan. I mean, how can't you be, right? We wanted a road course in the chase, and we kind of got one, and we got Talladega out as an elimination. I am so excited for it. I think it's the most talked about race that I can remember in a long time. Looking forward to the races, no doubt about that. Since 2013, when they introduced Eldora, this is by far the biggest race. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. It's something different. People don't like change until you prove to them that change is for the better. Dave, you spend your entire show talking to heavy hitters in the sport. So everything that you've kind of received, all the information, what do you expect we're going to see on Sunday? I don't have a clue. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, Shannon, I've asked every driver I can get my hands on. I've asked every crew chief uh, that I can get my hands on. Not a one of them knows with any confidence whatsoever what we're going to see this weekend. I think that the potential is there for volatility. Uh, there are a lot of corners where you just simply cannot get through to abreast doesn't mean they won't try it just means that they will fail the potential it jimmy johnson told me a couple of weeks ago he can envision a scenario where eight or ten cars finish this race i don't know if it'll be that bad but it, it has the potential to be kind of crazy you know what i think is interesting is i think i've heard the drivers are pretty much like hey it's here we we accept it it's almost it hasn't been positive but it certainly hasn't been negative how negative do you think it gets after the race on sunday well, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it depends on how it goes. Right now, it's the monster under the bed. And the reason that monster is so scary is because you can't see it. You don't know what it can do to you. You don't, you don't know how big a bite it'll take out of you. We'll know on Monday how big a bite and who got bitten. My guess is, kind of like always, the guys that got bitten hard aren't going to like the Roval at all. The guys that had good days are going to be wildly enthusiastic enthusiastic about it i don't think we take any of those opinions as gospel i think we as fans kind of add it up on our own and say was it a good entertaining exciting race and if so we should probably do it again so it's official all of our young viewers here on race hub are now afraid of this weekend because they're going to be like why did that guy dave moody say that there's a monster under my bed what's that mean man talking about <laughs> who are your favorites going into this weekend i know it's 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 we, anyone's race but who are your favorites i, I think you got to go with the usual customer share and I don't see 30th place teams becoming first place teams. And I don't see first place teams becoming 30th place teams. I, I think the big three, Keselowski, and then the usual subjects that we talk about when we go to Sonoma or Watkins Glen, those are probably the people that we'll see up front. And oh, by the way, all those guys, the big three, have multiple wins on road courses. Thank you, Dave Moody. We will see you same place next week. See you then.